Hey guys, so I am on my way to either Barnes & Noble or my favorite coffee place, which is Caribou. I think I'm just going to go ahead and go to Caribou because I want <laughs> a specific drink. But I just had the thought, like, why do I never go in there and, like, edit um, and just take my iPad with me and edit? So I'm going to go ahead and do that today afterwards i probably um take a walk my son just um took a nap he's with my mother and um yeah so i'm gonna go ahead edit there and get my coffee and then take a walk <laughs> um i might work too but i don't know we'll see this because there's a hole in my leggings <laughs> i don't have a black hoodie so i'm just gonna put this on because it's like a really big shirt um so yeah probably need this anyway because I'm sure it's pretty cool outside um, I should just take my chain off this is the most bummy I've looked in a long time <laughs> like I don't know I feel like it's like a combination of the hat me not doing my hair the big oversized shirt like I'm not really trying to match Definitely giving little brother vibes. Then my hair hanging out in the back, like, this is just, I almost don't even want to go out here like this. <laughs> but it's just a combination. Okay, now I can show y'all where the hole is. It's like a hole right here. So I'm like, let me just put on a long shirt. But yeah, I'm definitely looking like my name is Tyler. <laughs> um, <sighs> pray for me, y'all, that I don't see anybody cute. <laughs> <sighs> and now I come outside and it's like so nice out here. Like, oh, you could have really got cute today. <laughs> but whatever, I'm just gonna, you know, take a quick walk. It's only 1044, so technically I still have the rest of the day. But I'm like, oh, now it's like perfect weather. It's cool, it's sunny. I'm 
definitely not going to the um, gym looking like this. I'm just looking for somewhere to park so I can start walking. I want to get back on these scooters so bad. I might get my sister this um, week and make her go with me. Cause she's like, I'm not going on a weekday. <laughs> I parked so weird just now, but I was just trying to hurry up and get out the way. But I hate that because then it's like it messes up your whole. I'm about to just pull back out because I can't do it. This is just weird. <clears throat> yeah. Okay guys, so clearly I'm still walking and I'm up to 2,200 steps. Um, it's like 11.08 right now and it feels pretty good. Like um, I can probably walk a little bit faster because I'm a little bit lighter now. So that's always a plus um, I'm definitely hot with this on but I'm hoping that'll just make me you know lose a little bit more weight and sweat more so y'all I'm just turning back around and I'm gonna go back in the opposite direction back toward my car <laughs> people are crazy with these decorations <laughs> but um <sighs> I didn't even eat today so this is like a fasted workout is that what they call it fasted workouts but um yeah y'all know I'm gonna be breathing hard but I'm walking really fast so that's pretty normal I haven't really taken any breaks though or stopped so I'm still doing good then my nose always starts running matter of fact I brought a little paper towel out here because I knew my nose was gonna start running where is it now I don't even see it in my bag but anyway I'll talk to y'all when I get back in a different area <laughs> okay guys so i finished my walk um i got like four thousand and something steps but i'll get the rest throughout the day it's only like 10 a.m so well it's 11 now but i just started working um i'm gonna do a couple of orders um i think that it's better to do this in the morning because people order from like right down the street because it's a lot of businesses right here but it's also a lot of restaurants on the same block so like I just got an order that's like one mile for seven something so it's like why not just do this for a little while and then I'm gonna go take a shower change clothes I'll probably get my son and um, take him somewhere later today um, I was going to take them to this music thing, but it's like starting in a few minutes, so it doesn't look like I'm going to be able to do that. But I don't know, it might because it's like three hours long, but we'll go somewhere. Hey guys, so we're in Ollie's. We in the biggest store ever called Ollie's. It's the biggest store ever? Yeah. It does look big, but it's not really as big as it looks on camera. Go to Santa. <laughs> He's trying to get to this big inflatable Santa Claus over here. 
Um, I don't really need anything. Um, I honestly, I'm just out here because my sister wanted to come out here. Um, but I wasn't doing anything but just laying in the bed. So I was like, let me get up. <laughs> I have to fill up my um car with air because this guy i felt something weird when i was driving but this guy pulled on the side of my car and was like check your tire because it's really low but i felt it like feeling i don't know i think i had my windows down and i kind of heard like a little floppy sounding noise so i was about to pull over but the guy you know i guess he saw it before i could so now i'm just getting some air for this tire i'm like lord do i need a man because <laughs> like i've never done this in my life had to fill up a damn tire hey guys so i'm in hobby lobby um <laughs> i don't need to be buying anything but i'm just looking at their wall decor because that's what's on sale today um i just always want to switch up that little wall in my kitchen um, I feel like this is like a focal point or whatever. So I like to kind of switch that up every now and then. But I really don't need anything, you know. But they just have such nice artwork. Like everything. I know y'all can't really see it. But everything looks pretty nice. And it's 50% um, off this week. Next week, I guess it'll be table decor that's on sale so it's like every time you come here you're pretty much guaranteed some sort of sale this is cute this looks like sex in the city um let me see how much this is i know it's probably like 70 dollars yo y'all see what i almost did but i'm glad it wasn't something glass it's not really my fault. It's just this big thing is hanging down in the way. And I do it all over again. I guess seventy-five dollars, so fifty percent off of that. And I don't know. I wanted something that looks more kitcheny. <laughs> I killed myself just making words talking about kitcheny, but um, y'all know what I'm saying. Like something that will look cute in the kitchen, but I'm trying to avoid getting something that just says kitchen. <laughs> Cause I was looking at that on um at another store just now, and I was like, that's just too, you know, on the nose. So, <sighs> like these look really cute. Um, this is like the actual kitchen section but I don't know if I see it I'll know it I guess hey guys so I'm in at home and I had to come up here and vlog and tell y'all about when I used to work here <laughs> because if y'all don't know I worked here when I was pregnant um I only worked here for about what two three months um it was really annoying because first of all, every day you came in here, you had to do this thing called Exonify or some aggravating thing. And then like, <laughs> when I was like, I had to be like seven, eight months pregnant. So my stomach was like really big. So they would always page me and be like, um, can you get on a ladder and like come, like y'all see how high these shelves right here are? They would have like a ladder and be like, um, can you come and get something down for a customer? And I just had to tell them one day, like, do y'all know who you're paging? Like, I'm eight months pregnant. Cause like literally as soon as I hit nine months, I just quit. <laughs> Cause I'm like, whatever, I don't even 
have time for this like i'm about to really be preparing for my son to get here but um yeah i had to tell him one day like do y'all know who you're paging like i'm eight months pregnant if i were to fall off this ladder y'all aren't gonna do anything for me like it's nothing you could do at that point but um yeah and this store is like really huge so it was like just annoying even working here and trying to always put stuff back and then it was like all this freaking um merchandise that had to go back at the end of the day and stuff like that so yeah but they you know as a customer i like the store because it's a lot of options but it's not really a cheap place to shop so i don't like that i won't say cheap but it's not like an affordable place to shop i feel like i would just come here for like one or two pieces at a time because they don't have good sales now they do have some little clearance sections like see how they have clearance right there but it's weird like oh if the person gets to the um register and it doesn't have like a certain sticker on it they'll still charge them full price even if they got it from clearance so yeah um, I, it's like i have a love and a hatred for this store um i just love the variety you know but as far as like going somewhere to really shop i would just go to like ross or tj maxx honestly not even tj maxx because they get a little crazy too but i would go to like a ross or i can't even think of any other stores i really love ross now it's weird but um <laughs> I would, matter of fact like a target or a walmart i would go to like a ross or a target to really shop and get um a nice little selection of things or a nice quantity of stuff so yeah i just wanted to come tell y'all about that <laughs> just showing y'all what i got from gabe's i got this little water bottle holder um i have been wanting one of these so <laughs> it's crazy because i feel like i have so many like plastic bins and containers in my house but that's just what i like buying y'all so don't judge me <laughs> but um yeah i drink like a lot of water and i have a lot of water in my refrigerator so sometimes i might want to kind of switch it up and just have them laying down like this so I got this because it was only five dollars like um, I feel like some places probably would have tried to charge like 10 for this so yeah I got that I got these two big bowls y'all know I have like all white dishes and stuff um, and speaking of the dishes over there I'm about to like reconfigure these two shelves so um, I don't know I, I really don't feel like doing this but I want to put my refrigerator on that shelf so that means like moving everything from one shelf to the other if y'all don't know where i'm pointing it's where my pots and pans and stuff are um on the shelves then i got these two straws because um i have these black ones but i might want to switch it up sometime and put like white ones because i kind of display stuff in a decorative way so it's like Sometimes I might want to just, you know, have white straws instead of black straws showing. Um, and these were the reason that I just went to um, Ollie's. This is a different store, but 
um ollie's and gabe's are like right next to each other so i wanted to go to ollie's because they have these and it's basically island coconut lime scented um wax melts these things smell just like the coconut lime verbena from bath and body works back in the day i don't know if you guys know how that smells but if you do it smells literally just like it and it's so strong like i burnt some well not burnt but i um melted some today in this and like as soon as one was finished i just put like a brand new cube in there because it smells really good um i'm sorry if y'all don't have uh, ollie's around you and you can't <laughs> try these but they smell really good so if you see like anything similar to this just smell it and see if you like it this brand is better homes and gardens so don't they have that like at walmart i feel like they have that brand at walmart too but um it was funny that we just went and ate that ramen because i feel like the big bowls were similar to these and i had already like picked these out so yeah i'm definitely going to be putting me some <laughs> homemade ramen in here aka oodles and noodles or cup of noodles or whatever y'all call them um the ramen at the restaurant really like i'm not trying to complain about it because i already pretty much knew this but it tasted just like the noodles that you make at home so <laughs> it's like pretty much you could just make your own i feel like the ones that i make at home can even be more flavorful because i can add like you know sesame oil and black pepper and like whatever seasoned salt hot sauce whatever you want to put in there you can like put it in there so yeah um but i just i actually came up with that little idea to go get some ramen but my sister knew about that place so i was like oh the place is you know really cute in here so it was more so just about like the experience of going there um and it's like a cool day outside so i was like this is like the perfect weather to go get some ramen but yeah like i wouldn't <laughs> go back and get any more she said the same thing like we're over it because it basically just tastes just like you open up a pack of noodles and make it yourself but yeah i'm glad that you know i went because now they gave me the idea to make it in here at home y'all always try to start off my days on a good note but things just start irking your nerves like um so I just went and got this tire replaced. First of all, it took like an hour. Um, the guy told me it would be five minutes when I first got there. It literally took like an hour. Um, I got there at like 11.20. It's 12.12 12 now. So not quite an hour, but it might as well had it been. So then he does the tire. I'm asking him like, okay what's the cash app name or something so all he could do is point to the phone number on the building so i'm typing it in so then when the person's name popped up i'm asking like okay is this the right you know recipient like i don't want to just send this to the wrong person so um he can barely talk so then i get back in the car and um I go to back out after I pay. He still has like the little thing behind my wheel. So now that's scraping all on the ground. Everybody's looking like what's going on. <laughs> so I had to like go back there and kick it from behind the tire. You would think he would have heard it and kind of ran over there and came and got it. I'm like, yo, y'all are just, I don't know what's going on there, but I probably won't go back. Um, it just was too much like it was no organization like okay you're first you're second i pretty much just had to kind of pull up when i felt like it was my turn but um anyway i'm trying to start working so i'm gonna go ahead and do that i was gonna like try to take a little walk today but i don't even think it's going down because it's like my day has already started off on a stupid note, so. I had to come home and eat because I was starving. Um, I made this big salad. <laughs> it's cucumber under here. It's like mostly cucumber at the bottom, but I just like put everything else on the top. 
but it's really good. It's 2.30, I'm just eating. Hey guys, so I just wanted to come show y'all what I did to these shelves. I just changed it around a little bit. I didn't end up bringing the refrigerator to this side, but I did put those um, baskets down lower and brought this up. And I brought the pots and pans from over there. So I kind of switched a lot. <laughs> everything but the refrigerator basically because I didn't feel like like having to unplug that and just do all this extra stuff so yeah this is how it looks I'm enjoying it like this um I want to kind of clean up under here because it looks a little too colorful for my liking <laughs> but this is like where I keep the baby snacks that he can just come in and reach um and my cookbooks and um pretty much all the little extra stuff this is how the mini fridge looks with the lights off I don't know if I've ever shown you guys you know the kitchen with <laughs> the lights off but i mean you can't really see much besides the mini fridge and then i just have night lights and stuff i also have some lighting on top of the um cabinets but i don't have it on right now let me just plug it up while i'm doing all this i might as well This is how the kitchen looks at night. I don't just absolutely love this kitchen, but I mean, this is a rental, so what can you really do? But I feel like I like how I've added certain little things to make it look a little bit better. So, <clears throat> yeah, it's my little nighttime kitchen vibes. But anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and end the vlog here because as you can see, it's 11.09 and it's time to be going ahead, shutting everything down. <laughs> and I'll talk to you guys on the next vlog. Bye.